from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. Um, we're going to use the 6x6 gel press um, and we're going to be using some lovely colours from Paparazzi. These are the Fresco Finish Chalk Acrylics that we've got uh, now in stock. Uh, so we've got a whole new range. Okay, so I'm using some really nice, bright, vibrant colours today. I don't normally go with vibrant colours, but I'm going to step out my comfort zone and just give it a go. So just a small amount, if we can get this one out. There we go. And then I'll blend these two colours together. A nice thin layer, that's what we're looking for. And then we'll take one of our stencils. And as you can see, it doesn't quite fit the edges, but if we can go as close as we can, we can disguise those at a later date, so don't worry about that. Of course, you know, if you have a preference to use your DL size gel press or your 5x7, then this stencil will fit perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to roll over the top of that now. Just take out some of that colour that's exposed. I know some of you have suggested putting a piece of paper or another card over the top and of course you can do that, that's fine and you can get some really nice prints from doing that and um, that's something that we, that we will have a, a little play with. Okay, so we've got taken our colour out now so I'm going to move on to our alcohol inks um, let's have a look so we've used bubblegum and haystack, so maybe we'll stick with some nice bright colours and we'll use stream. So I'm just going to bob a little bit down on the mat and then using our dauber, I'm just going to pick that colour up and then I'm going to just dot it. all over this intricate um, detail of the stencil and just blend it out and let's see what happens. Okay and now I'm going to use, let's use the eggplant actually, it's always quite a safe colour eggplant I find. Go back to my dauber and just do the same thing on this side. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we've got. We'll pop that in some water over there because it's had the acrylic paint on. Okay, so obviously we've we've got our edges here that we need to maybe disguise. So let's use a bit of the bubble gum and one of the daubers and I'm just going to literally just go around the edge and that will just disguise that and hopefully that will just get rid of that line but I'm not too worried about that because by the time we've finished it I can promise you we won't notice it Okay, so once that's dry, we then add a colour over the top. So we just need to choose a colour. So, um, what should we go with? Maybe we'll go with the Teresa Green. Okay. We only need a very small amount, pea size, and then we're going to blend that over the top. 
surprising how far it goes. So you've got a nice even coverage now and we're going to take our print. This should be quite interesting. Good smooth over. This is our stencil it card. That's 250 GSM. Wow. So we've got some lovely colours going on there. Really nice colours. We've even got a little bit of glitter that's stuck to the gel press, which adds to it too. But I think those alcohol inks really do uh, pull the image out, sort of defines the edge of the stencil. So I hope you can see that. Okay, so we've got our print here that we're going to stamp onto now it's nice and dry. We've got Sebastian, our seahorse, and we're going to use him to stamp in the middle. Okay, so we're going to stamp it in the archival ink, simply because this always stamps better onto acrylic paint. Um, if ever you get the chance, just try the Versafine and you'll see the difference. But I think it gives a much sharper image that dries really quickly. Um, so that's the only reason I use the archival. So let's give that a good covering. I think that's about covered. So we'll pop him down in the centre there. Give him a good press, he's a big stamp, so... And there we go. Okay. So I've cut, cut myself um, a mask here, um, and that's simply because I want to frame the outside and you can still see there's a little line here from my stencil so I'm going to just cover that up. So all I've used for this is a hole cutter. So I might start with the warm breeze. So because I'm blending I'm okay to, to use the VersaFine Claire on. I can also use the archival if I wish. Um, or the Distress Oxides can give you a nice finish as well. So because you're blending colour, don't worry too much about what you're putting on at this stage. It's only the stamping that I tend to stick with the archival more than anything. Okay, so... As I say, I'm just going to bring that to the edge. and then ink up and then I'm just going to work my way around the edge. And this will just give it a little bit of depth more than anything. As I say, my the whole that I've cut for my mask is a little bit smaller so 
in which case I'm just having to move it slightly but that's really not a problem just got to remember to do it so there we go what else does that need? I think we need to go around the edge with a paintbrush now and I'll use the colour box add a little bit of water to that because these are water based so we're fine to use these and I'm just going to go around the edge this will make it really stand out. I mean, to be honest, I don't think it needs an awful lot more doing to it because it's got quite quite a lot going on already with the stencil in the background. What I might do is put some words around the edge. Okay. So I'm going to ink up in the Versafine simply because I'm stamping onto the white card not, not so much onto the acrylic paint so in cap I'm going to take off and I've just discovered a fingerprint there, a famous fingerprint so I'm going to cover that I mean of course you don't have to put the writing on but I quite like as you know always edging my work with a little bit of writing and then we can um, put a colour over the top of that if we wish um, I might go with the twilight and literally just touch the edge just so that we can see the edge of the card Okay. And I think guys, I'm quite happy with leaving it there. He's um he's a real statement is Sebastian, so I think um we've got enough going on there and I love the glitter that actually stuck to the gel press in the first place. So we certainly don't need any more glitter on that either. So I hope you enjoyed the demo, thanks so much for watching guys, you take care, stay safe and see you real soon, bye for now.